Okay, so on day number 19, basically what God's sharing with me is about uh, about the spirit realm. That um, that when we praise Him, we're to praise Him in spirit and truth. And the Word of God says that the Word is spirit and the Word is truth. And we're to praise Him in spirit because the spirit realm is the same as the physical realm, but it's spiritual. In the spirit realm, the demons and the angels hear, see, taste, and smell. Let me prove it to you. He says, taste and see the Word is good. It says uh, in uh, Ezekiel or one of those prophets that um, I put the scroll in my mouth and it tasted bitter. Uh, smell, got, uh, our sacrifice is a sweet aroma to God. Um, God collects our prayers and our tears in a bottle. God uh, incense is the prayers of the saints. Um, so the spiritual realm can see, hear, feel, and taste the spirit realm, not the same way we do. It's the spirit realm made the physical realm. Um, this word of God says, uh, in the beginning was the word, and the word was Jesus, and the word became flesh. Jesus became flesh. Spoken words become flesh. Spoken words become physical. Okay? So the spiritual realm, when you die, you go to heaven or hell, and it's you still know people, you still taste, hear, feel, and smell because it says that the fire doesn't go out, that you're not quenched, um, and you're away from the glory of God. So you 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 have the same senses as just spiritual senses. Okay, so God said his word that when you praise and you worship him. There's so many chickens loose in this town. I love it. But when you praise and you worship God, you must do it in spirit and truth. Uh, because when you worship God, He enthrones or inhabits. He, he, he's there when you're praising Him. It, it, it makes Him alive in you. It, has, it brings His glory down. Because it's in the spiritual realm. It brings the spiritual realm to the physical realm. And he was just sharing with me how, how because the spirit realm is like the physical realm. See, the devil can't read your mind, but he can see your spirit. He can see your spirit, man, and, and he can see, um, I, I believe that in the spirit realm, that words have color. I have heard somebody say that they went to heaven and that words have color, sound, smell, and I believe that because we're a copy of the spirit realm. Heaven is a copy. I mean, earth is a copy of heaven, and we're a copy of God. So, um, the spiritual thing created the earthly things, physical things. So I believe that demons and angels can hear, see, smell our words. That words are alive. The word of God says that the word is alive, and it produces flesh. It produces whatever you need. The word is a seed, and it produces harvest. So if you need healing, you speak, confess, and uh, call. It's what God says, healing, and the words. By his stripes I'm healed becomes healing on your flesh. So he's saying the same thing with worship, that we worship him um, in spirit and word. So when we say the word of what God says, then he inhabits that praises. Um, and when we say our own words, oh God, you know, whatever. But when we say, um, God, you are, uh, your majesty is excellent. You are Jehovah Rapha. You're Jehovah Sit Canoe, my righteousness. Uh, you're Jehovah Shalom, my peace. And God, you're just, you're, you are love. And, and when we say what God says about himself, we're producing life. We're producing that very thing. We're drawing that God's presence to us. Uh, because the spiritual realm is right here among us in the physical realm. So he wants us to say what he says. He wants our words to be full of power, not empty and void of power by speaking what we see in the physical. But he wants us to speak what we see in the spiritual realm and agree with his words. So I hope I explained that well. Uh, my name is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God, day number 19. And I'll